Welcome to the 100% shiny grass Pokemon locations in the Teal Mask DLC. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps down below. If you're looking for any other types, we have an entire playlist for the Teal Mask, so make sure to check out that playlist for that one. And if you haven't checked out my Paldea playlist, go ahead and check out that as there's tons of shiny Pokemon all over that main game as well. Now for the grass sandwich recipe, I'm going to be using one lettuce, so to use one spicy Herba Mystica and one salty Herba Mystica. Feel free to write down in the comments below what sandwich you use and the ingredients that you guys suggest in the comments because it helps so much when you all write that down because there are always alternate recipes for sandwiches. So I appreciate everyone who does comment that. Since there are a lot of grass Pokemon that are underneath the grass that you can't see, make sure to go hit the home button, go to your system settings, go all the way down to system, and then select the zoom button over here. Turn that on. If you're able to do that, you can then double tap home and play with this. That way you can look in the grass and identify if there happens to be a shiny Pokemon there. All right, let's get hunting. Now, the best place to go ahead and hunt low tad is going to be all the way down in Wisteria Pond. Now, Wisteria Pond is pretty cool because low tads are going to be the only thing that spawn in the water. So a few options that you have is picnic resetting, or you could just simply just run around the entire area and see what spawns until you get the shiny. Now, this is what the shiny looks like. So it's going to be really obvious. The I think you might just have a little bit more difficult time maybe at nighttime but i was actually able to get mine at night so it wasn't too bad but it's going to be pretty simple to do it for your low tad this is what the evolution looks like and it's third evolution so it's going to be quite the shiny lineup and they're not hard at all to get and nothing else is interfering with them so nice and easy and the fact that it's a water grass pokemon means it's another water pokemon we can eliminate by having the grass sandwich help us uh, that's pretty much how you're going to be able to get yourself a low tad picnic resetting probably will get you your most amount so keep that in mind or you could just run away and despawn all right Good luck with that one. So if you teleport over to the Gracious Stones, this is actually going to be an extremely great area to do dual hunting for both the C Dot Evolution line as well as Fomantis. Now, first, let me just throw up on screen what C Dot's shiny looks like. It's second evolution, which I think is super cool, and it's final evolution. Now, Fomantis is going to be a little interesting to try to locate because it's going to just be like a little bit more yellow. On the color so you might have to do the zoom in trick when you are running in the grass looking for it now between the two pokemon i do notice there are a little more c dots than fomantis but this is where i was able to get myself one of them over here in the grass and believe it or not i was also able to get myself a shiny c dot over here which is pretty cool now sometimes you will get the second evolution spawning like lorantis will make it spawn sometimes a few low tads if you get too close to the water will also spawn as well as you have random nuzleafs that spawn and you sometimes will get families so just keep that in mind when you're hunting in this area it should be easy to get. Before I show you this next grass Pokemon location, this video is sponsored by Yeelight. This is the Yeelight Cube. So is this and this. This is the panel, the matrix, and the spot. And it has become one of my favorite lighting accessories on my desk. You can stack them vertically like this, or you can stack them horizontally. They are just like bricks. You can even twist them a bit like this for aesthetic reasons. Pretty cool. It also has a Yeelight Station mobile app that has a lot of awesome preset lighting effects on it. You can DIY whatever light colors you want. When I shiny hunt a specific Pokemon type, I like to change the lights to match the type. For example, fire Pokemon red, water Pokemon blue, and grass Pokemon, I select green. It also got a graffiti mode so you can basically paint the lights to be whatever you want. So on the panels, you'll get a cool gradient effect like this, and on the matrix, you can customize every single dot like this. You can even select the clock mode and see the time. The music flow feature is one of the most awesome ones here because if the app hears music or sounds, the panels will all react. How cool is that? The link to purchase this is going to be down in the description below. Now, if you head over to the Apple Hills by the Apple Trees, we're going to have some Applins spawning in the area that are going to be in the trees, as well as some Applins that may be roaming around in the field. Here are the ones in the trees right over here. Something to keep in mind, this is going to be a really difficult hunt if you're trying to hunt for an Applin in these fields. So what I do suggest for you to do is go back to the base game in Paldea and head over to the tag tree thicket with a dragon sandwich enabled. This is going to be a lot easier for you to do this. Head over all the way down in this area 
towards the Team Star base, and once you bump into the base, you can turn around here and you'll be facing these two specific trees. What I did was run into the tree, that way the Applin would fall, and then I sent my Pokemon out to do auto battling with it. Now it has to be a Pokemon that can float. Make sure to place yourself back, that way when your Pokemon is auto battling, it can continue to keep knocking it out, and this AFK method is very powerful in order for you to get an Applin. And it'll keep attacking the Pokemon until it comes back to you when it notices that you have a shiny Applin. At that point, you just get a bump into the tree and the shiny Applin will fall. Remember, you have to redo this every 30 minutes. So most likely you should probably save before you start doing it or before you pop the dragon sandwich. That way you can conserve what you need without losing ingredients. Now, if we look back at this area, you can see there's a huge difference. We just get one or two couple families here. You don't really get a great hunt. So even if I was to picnic reset in the apple tree farm, it's just not that good, especially with a grass sandwich. And you're not even guaranteed that little family spawns right next to you. It goes somewhere else in this area. And there are also other Pokemon that spawn around here. It's just not ideal. So good luck doing that AFK hunt. It's a really fun one. And I'm sure you all will be able to get a shiny, no problem, and eventually evolve it into Diplin. Now, if you want to hunt down a Petalil, which is going to evolve into a Lilligant, well, this is going to be your spot. And actually, this is way better than the base game of Paldea because they barely spawn. But here, oh, they spawn so much. You don't even need a mass outbreak to get a shiny to spawn. So what's the location you're gonna be hunting these down? It's gonna be all the way towards the left side of the map. Pretty much this entire area covering this whole entire spot on the left side, make sure it is in the grassy area. You can literally just go up and down this entire path and you'll see them everywhere. Some things that I suggest that you could probably do when going up and down this pathway is maybe get a giant group to spawn within an area. You can do picnic resets, but preferably you could also just move up and down and despawn them out. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the shiny as it's not going to be as obvious and you may need to zoom in in order to determine if that is the shiny or not. Zoom in is going to help you a lot because sometimes it just gets stuck in the grass. Now around this pathway is pretty much where I was able to get my own, which is pretty good to add to your collection. Also, here's a little fun thing that you can do. If you catch it in whatever Pokeball you want and send it over to Pokemon Legends Arceus, you could then evolve it into its Hisuian form and then bring it back here. And that Hisuian form will now be in whatever Pokeball you want. So it's a really cool Pokeball trick to bring it back into Paldea with its form and with a special Pokeball. So just keep that in mind if you're interested, especially when you could get a shiny one and do it. Now, if you want to use a grass sandwich to hunt down Seawaddle, well, I got you covered. It falls under grass slash bug Pokemon, so it's a mixed one. So the place that you want to go for this is Masui Town. In fact, we're actually going to do two locations for this one. So Masui Town, we're going to do the spawn trick. What this means is you're going to be right by the town exactly where I am. And when you tap up into the town like this, walk back out, you'll get completely new spawns. Now, in order to identify the shiny, this is what the leaves will look like on the Pokemon, which is a lot different than the other green. If they happen to be in the grass, that's why we have these zoom in techniques, just so you can see if it's the pigment color that you need as everything is very blurry in this game and very pixelated when you want to zoom in. So you can simply just jump into town, walk right out, spawn a couple of them along the road. If you don't see what you want, you can then just run back into the town to respawn out all these ones. Like there's a lot of them. Look at that. And it does beat out the speed of a picnic. So I suggest you do this if you want to be faster than a picnic. Now, if you're not a big fan of town resets, I also got you covered. We're going to head over to our spot all the way at the corner right over here at this hill, as this is a good spawning spot to make a picnic and look out below to see what is spawning in the game. So as you can see right in front of me, there are sea waddles just spawning in right in this area and you do get a good amount. Also, you want to make sure when you're at this little hill over here that you watch your back area just in case you get a shiny one that spawns. That's simply all you got to do. Stand over here, make yourself a picnic, close out your picnic and just wait for the spawns to come in. It's that simple. You should be able to get yourself a shiny sea waddle and eventually evolve it all the way up. This is the one I got. All right. Let's move on. Seriously, if you want a shiny Pokemon like this, you've got to hit that subscribe button. It'll help you 
so much. Now, when you have a grass sandwich and you want to hunt bell sprout, it's not going to be as easy. It's better off with the poison sandwich, in my opinion. But if you do have your grass sandwich, I do suggest that you head over to this area at the Loyalty Plaza and kind of hop over the fence over here. You can kind of do a little bit of a hunt where it just running back and forth into the loyalty plaza exiting and then looking around to see what exactly spawns when you do that you'll notice the bell sprouts do happen to spawn in this area you'll get a couple of them and you really just have to look for like this golden bell sprout that's really all you have to do this is what its second evolution looks like as well and i'll show you an interesting spot where we can hunt that but you can see we do get an interesting amount of bell sprout in this area of course it is mixed with other pokemon as i mentioned this is not the greatest bell sprout spot so if you want to check that out you can look at the poison video to see the best spots for that but something else that i think is also an interesting spot for bell sprout is its second evolution that does spawn at the Mosfell Confluence. You actually get random spawns of Weeping Bell that show up. There it is. There's Weeping Bell. And they will start to show up within this area. So just keep that in mind if you're hunting. Yep, that was another one right there. So if you want to hunt here too, you can. Bellsprout does stick out of the ground compared to the other Pokemon. So it might be easier to run around, even though it's a little chaotic, to find the Pokemon you need. So I just wanted to put out these two spots. So that little town spawn, respawn location, and this chaotic grass area that has almost every grass Pokemon. Keep that in mind and enjoy yourself and get yourself a shiny Bellsprout. Now, if you want to hunt down Phantom, here's what it's shiny is going to look like on screen and here's what its second evolution will look like on screen now the interesting thing to hunt these is you can find them in the timeless woods unfortunately because you have a grass sandwich on you're also going to be spawning in some Lorantis, some Fomantis, as well as some Toad Scroll as well. So keep that in mind when you're in the forest. Now, if you want to focus just on Phantoms a lot more properly, then I really suggest that you do pop your Ghost Sandwich. It'll be a lot easier to hunt it down. You can also hunt down its evolution as Trevenant spawns at nighttime. So for more information on that, you can check out our Ghost Hunting video in the playlist. Now, if you're trying to also hunt down some Toad School and Toad Scroll, its evolution, well, you're probably going to want to pop a ground sandwich in order to do that as the spawns are not as hot when you're trying to hunt them down in the entire timeless woods. Usually when you pop a ground sandwich, you're going to get a lot better spawns. But don't worry, I have you covered. You can check out the ground video if you want more information on that for better spawns for Toad Scroll and for Toad Scroll. By the way, this will be the location for that. So you're going to want to definitely pop a ground sandwich for this one. Now, if you're curious about hunting culture guys well it's not going to be easy to do it with the grass sandwich even though it has the grass typing in it now usually from revelers road you'd locate any bamboo trees that you'd find and that's what they would normally spawn but unfortunately it just doesn't happen like that they are completely removed from the spawn table so you'll not be able to find any ghost pokemon with this so if you want to get yourself ultra guys you're gonna to have to go ahead and use a ghost sandwich you could just head over to our ghost video which will fully explain the best way for you to get one and it'll show you the best locations to do it but just wanted to point out not possible with the grass sandwich doesn't even spawn at all now that you got all your grass pokemon in kitakami you should check out this video over here seriously click on it